Hey everyone, it's Miss Mod About You, and today's video is going to be about my top favorite MAC blushes, and I'm just going to get right into it, and I hope you guys like this video. So, um, first I'm just going to start off and mention what I'm wearing on my lips right now. So, that's what it looks like, and it's just a really nice color um, by Rimmel London. So I purchased this at my drugstore, and this is in 077 Asia. And it's just a really nice mauve color with brown undertones to it. I'm just going to swatch it for you guys really quickly. So that's what it looks like. It's a really nice, gorgeous color. Um, I particularly wear this in the fall, but I don't know, I really felt like wearing this today, so I just did. So, yeah. And I really like that color. So I'm just going to get right into it and show you guys my favorite MAC blushes. I'm going to start off with the one I'm wearing right now, which is on, like, really lightly. So you can't really tell that I'm even wearing blush. But it's there. I just need to find it. Ah, here it is. And I think this is my favorite blush at the moment from MAC. And this is in the color Mocha. And it's just a matte blush. Mocha. So I'm going to show you guys what it looks like. This is what it looks like. And it's just a really nice um, peach color. But it has um, brown undertones to it. But it's really pretty. And I think that this color is really nice and versatile. And that it would work on multiple different skin types and skin tones so I definitely recommend looking at this blush if you know if you wanted to try out a blush from MAC and like I said this would fit any skin tone so definitely check this out it's just a really nice warm toned blush and I'm just gonna swatch it for you guys I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see the swatch I think you might though so that's what it looks like Right there. That's Mocha. Alright, so that's Mocha. Like I said, that's the one that I'm wearing on my cheeks right now. Just really nicely stippled it on with a 188 brush by MAC. Um, the next color I have is in Desert Rose, and it's also a matte blush. And this is what it looks like. Desert Rose. And this is a gorgeous cranberry color. I don't know if you guys can see that. But it's a really nice um, cranberry color. I think this color would work better on darker skin tones, uh, medium to dark skin tones. So I have really fair skin, and I'm pretty pale. So I only need a really, really, really small amount of this. But it does show up really pretty on any skin tone, which is why I love it. And it's just a really nice cranberry kind of color. So it's this one right here. It's just gorgeous. So I'm going to swatch it. And it's just a really nice cool tone cranberry kind of color. Gorgeous. So that's Desert Rose. My next color that I want to show you guys is definitely a crowd favorite here um, on YouTube. I've heard a lot of people raving about this blush. And this is Peaches. And this is just a really nice, gorgeous coral peach. That's just what it is. So the blushes that I've chosen to show you guys today are good in the fact that they tend to match any skin tones. So that's why I am showing these ones because, first of all, they're my favorites, and second of all, they're very versatile, and they will match multiple different skin tones. So this is, like I said, a nice corally peach. And that's what it looks like right there. I'm just going to swatch it. Right here. And as you can see, MAC blushes have really nice color payoff, really good pigmentation. So you only need 
a really little amount for it to show up and just blend it out really thoroughly thoroughly so that you have a nice even distribution of color and you don't have like a blot of color so you definitely want to make sure that you're blending out very nicely blend it out into your temples um, just like a little bit so don't <laughs> put too much of this on because the color payoff is really good and it'll show up really bright the next color I'm going to show you guys is Dame and it's a satin finish and it's just a really nice it's a pink with blue undertones to it so not not everyone can pull this color off um, especially if you have fair skin I find that this color may not suit you as well because it is a favorite but not everyone can pull it off so you definitely want to make sure before purchasing this blush um, that you do try it on and make sure that it works for you and your skin tone but it's a really nice pink cool tone pink so I'm just gonna swatch it that's what it looks like right there and there is the swatch right here Alright, so my next favorite is a mineralized blush in Dainty. And it's just a really nice peach with gold reflex in it. It's gorgeous. I love this. Like I said, this is suitable for many different skin tones. This is just a beautiful kind of corally peach. It's really light. That's what it looks like right there, if you guys can see it. Yeah. Alright, and last but not least is definitely one that's been raved about a lot here on YouTube. Ooh, I have swatches everywhere. Okay, so I have this one in my blush palette. I used to have... I used to be in, like, a phase where I just want to have only palettes... Um, but now recently I've just purchased the normal packaging, so I only have one blush that's like depotted, and this is well dressed, and it's just a really gorgeous, just neutral pink. I'm gonna swatch it for you guys. And yeah, it actually appears to be. No, no, it's not. People will sometimes think that well-dressed and um, dame, yeah, uh, are fairly similar. But uh, like, like I said, um, dame has more. No, not dame. Sorry. Uh, well-dressed and dainty look quite similar, but dainty actually has more of a gold undertone to it. When well-dressed is just straight up. A nice uh, really gentle kind of pastel pink so yeah so those are my favorite Mac blushes at the moment Let's show you guys the swatches again here not that one um, so like I said these are really nice they have really good color payoff and they I believe they're 20 20 dollars each or 22 uh, depending where you are and you know, they're an investment because they are fairly expensive. MAC is fairly expensive. Um, but if you are wanting to try a MAC blush, I think it's definitely worth it because it does have really nice pigmentation and they do last you a while. I've had several of these blushes for a couple of years now and they are still going strong. So definitely check them out if you wanted to. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you guys have any questions or comments, leave me uh, comment in the down bar below. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and have a great day.